Hi guys, typecasting is an important concept. Typecasting is used where we assign variables of one data type to an variable of another data type. For example, int i equals 10 and long l equals 1000. Now here, typecasting is required. Typecasting is not possible for boolean data type. Typecasting is of two types, implicit or explicit. So what is implicit casting? Just remember small to large. For example, int i equals 10, long l equals i. So i is assigned to l and r is int that is 32 bit which is smaller and long is 64 bit. So long is larger. So this is implicit casting. Implicit casting is done by compiler automatically. So we don't have to do anything. Which one is bigger? Don't worry, here's the list for you. Look at the sequence. Float is larger than long because it depends on range and not on bits. Therefore, assigning 64-bit long to 32-bit float falls under implicit casting. So remember the sequence. It all depends on range of values of these data types. Now the next type is explicit casting. Explicit casting means larger to smaller. The best example of explicit casting is a student like me. Actually, I enjoyed the whole semester and during exam period, I try to study everything one night before exam. So the situation is the syllabus is too big and my mind is too small. And the result is fail or roll grades. In programming, if you try to assign a variable of higher range to a variable of lower range, then definitely there is going to be some data loss or an error. So if I want to pass in my exams, then I need to take help from my friends. That is for cheating. I am not promoting cheating, but cheating is the best example of teamwork. But in programming, we don't have any friends. So here, we need to do something. So every time we assign a higher range data type to a smaller range, we need to write the data type of smaller range in round brackets. For example, long l equals 1000 and int x, now here we are written the integer in round brackets. So here the smaller data type is int. Now reverse our sequence. Now let's take a look at information loss in explicit casting. First, truncation. Floating point to integer or character will always truncate. So i will contain only 3 in this case. Since we can't store decimal into integers. And the second was is out of range. Explicit casting doesn't mean you can assign value more than its range. In this case the data will be lost. Since implicit casting is automated casting, we'll just focus on explicit casting that is larger to smaller. So here is the sequence for explicit casting. Now let's create a long variable L and an int variable I. Let's assign value of L to I. And the result is error so the solution is write the data type of lower range in round braces now it's working perfectly now let's see what is truncation
we are I just created a float variable and when we try to assign float to an end the point 14 that is decimal value is truncated now let's see last information last property that is out of range here I just created two variables long and byte and I'm trying to assign a long variable to a byte variable and the output is 64 that, so the, the original data is lost because byte can store such a large number what if I change the number to 10 now byte can store 10 so 10 is printed guys visit code archery and try to solve the exercises I created for you like code archery facebook page and join our group you can also support me on patreon and if you like my work then please hit that like button and share my videos Thank you so much for subscribing.